Member for Paran. Deputy Speaker, it's clear to everyone uh, in the Paran electorate that homelessness has increased with a number of people sleeping rough in the Chapel Street area. And as I always point out that this is just the tip of the iceberg with many more people uh, experiencing homelessness in, in uh, insecure or unsafe housing rather than living on the street. And having spoken to local housing agencies, I was shocked uh, just how few options there are locally um, to place people experiencing homelessness, uh, resulting in them sending people to outer suburbs or even country towns uh, where they have no ability to support them uh, or know whether their accommodation is stable uh, and, of course, away from their family or support network, resulting in many people simply returning to that very same service. There is a desperate need for more housing in our area, where it's public, whether it's public housing, where the waiting list is still too high, uh, social or affordable housing, particularly given now with the closure of the Gatwick uh, and of Faulkner Mansions some years ago. And certainly I would like to see Faulkner Mansions reopened uh, for the homeless. I'd also like to advocate for the Housing First model, where people experiencing homelessness are put directly into long-term housing and provided with the support uh, they need to maintain that tenancy, uh, rather than go through crisis and uh, temporary accommodation which increases the chances of those tenancies failing. I'd also like to acknowledge how entrenched homelessness can be, particularly with people experiencing mental illness and the need for places like drop-in centres that provide not just a service but a sense of community. Uh, and I'd certainly uh, like to see the Paran Mission drop-in centre uh, reopen after it was closed in the last term of government due to, due to funding cuts. Member for